SlimRaw is a program made specifically to compress Cinema DNG files, which makes it a perfect pairing for Sigma FP users like myself. In the same way that Red uses their proprietary Red code for their files, Blackmagic uses Blackmagic RAW, SlimRaw compresses Cinema DNG files with their own uh, algorithm that we can use and really take the weight off of some of these enormous Cinema DNG files. And it visually doesn't really impact your files that much. So yeah, let's take a look at some of the options in the program. So you're bringing to bring up SlimRaw. It's gonna ask you, you know, first off, where are the files that you wanna compress and where do you wanna put them? I've experimented a little bit with all of these and pretty much have found that you're only really gonna to wanna to pay attention to this right column, which is a very straightforward compression ratio, which means how much do you wanna compress your files? And seven to one is being the most compression and three to one being just the lightest bit of compression. I should also mention that even if you're just using the lossless compression mode, you're already getting up to 50% reduction in file sizes. I typically go beyond this just because I don't really see a difference and I save even more space with the compression options on the right. Now, I know YouTube compresses things uh, even further, but if you want an example of this, everything that we shot on our Across America video was compressed at 7 to 1. Actually, I think all of the Maldives video was compressed at 7 to 1 as well, because I was really trying to save uh, hard drive space while I was on these trips. But for a lot of our film stuff, I feel like I noticed a little bit of extra flexibility when pushing colors around and stuff, if I compress closer to four to one or three to one. Now, the only other thing pretty much you have to worry about here is this little button called prioritize quality over rate. It's really just an option that lets the SlimRaw algorithm decide if some more detail is needed in some areas or not. And what I found is basically if you have this checked off at five to one, it'll kind of bump down your compression ratio a little bit and wind you somewhere in the area of 4.5 to one compression, it'll retain a little bit more, more of that detail for you. Again, we are splitting hairs with like how much detail it's actually preserving. Um, Premiere CC compatibility is great out here. Like Cinema DNGs used to be accepted in Premiere, but I think they took compatibility away completely. So I don't think this even exists anymore because I've tried to put stuff in Premiere and, and it, it just hasn't hasn't accepted, but hey, uh, everyone should switch to DaVinci anyway. That's my two cents. <laughs> um, but otherwise, you'll just hit start job and it'll start chugging away. Usually takes about like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to process an entire like days of footage. It's not super long, which is great. That's SlimRaw and you'll pretty much find it. it those compression ratios, you know, say if you shot 100 gigs in a day, if you hit four to one compression, you'll be down to 25 gigs. Wait a second. Four to one compare. Yeah, 20. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them in the comments. Um, otherwise, they have a ton of information on their website. I'm doing a couple other videos on kind of my workflow and things like that. So this is like the first step of uh, the workflow. Maybe I'll put together a little playlist. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day.